Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix unidentified network connection problems with Windows 10. As you can see, when you have connection problems, you're going to see a yellow triangle next to your wireless adapter or your Ethernet adapter. This means that the computer is connected to the network, but it's having difficulties establishing a connection with it. Now, in technical terms, this usually means that the computer has not received a valid IP information or IP address. So we're gonna go ahead and troubleshoot this problem so we can fix it once and for all. I like to start with going over to the search tab for the search text field. And you can put in network and sharing center. Or you could eventually Click on, right click on your network adapter and go to open network and sharing center or you could just go ahead and search for a control panel and look for network and sharing center and I have mine set up as large icons. If you see yours like that then you can go ahead and switch it to large icon and find network and sharing center. Okay, so we can see that the network is connected or the wireless is connected or there's no network access and if I try to go to a website it says the site can't be reached all right so once you open the networking sharing center go ahead and left click where it says change or right left click on change adapter settings If you are hardwired straight to your router, then you'll be looking at your Ethernet adapter or your local network connection adapter. If you are connected via wireless, we're just gonna go ahead and work with this one. But you can follow the same steps for the other adapter. So I can see that is a unidentified network. We know that there is no connection. If I right click, the wireless adapter and click on status. We could confirm again that there's no network access for either IPv4 or IPv6. Let's look at the details. So it looks like I'm getting a IP address from somewhere. 192.168.3.25. If your IP address starts with 169, then that could be another numerical value. And 169 is a, in networking, what they call a APIPA address assigned by Windows. And it means that there's no connectivity to your network adapter and computer. So let me go ahead and close out of here. I'm gonna right click the adapter again and go to properties. Once you click properties, we're looking for the internet protocol version for TCP IP before. And let's go properties. Okay, so it looks like there is some predefined IP addresses in there. I already know what the problem might be. I was in another location and I entered manually an IP address for another network. I'm already at my house, so my home network uses a different IP address scheme. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch this to obtain automatically and obtain automatically on the bottom. And then click OK. Let's go ahead and close that too. All right, so it went from identifying to now my network name. Let's check the internet connection. Okay, it seems to be working. Additionally, what you could do is you could go ahead and right click the adapter, disable the adapter, wait about 10 seconds, enable the adapter again. And that should connect back up. Now, sometimes I've seen this happen if your computer is assigned the same IP address as another device on your network. 
So you will want to refresh the connection to try to get a new IP address that it doesn't interfere with another device in your network. Now, if, if you went to properties and it said on identified network, even though everything here was obtained automatically either way, that could mean that your router is not assigning IP addresses to this computer. And there's all the things that could make that happen if you created a access control list and you're only allowing specific devices through your router to connect. If that's the case, then the computer won't get an IP address. Or if the DHCP server, which is the protocol that assigns the IP address to your computer, if that's having issues, then you may wanna restart your router. So other things that you could try is if you know your IP address scheme, you could go ahead and try to enter it manually. Mine is 192.168.1. Let's move far away, 50. Something to mask is usually for a home network connection to 55.255.255. Default gateway. I'll enter the router's gateway. DNS. You could use your ISP, your Internet Service Provider DNS, or you could use Google's DNS. I'd rather use Google's DNS rather than my, than my ISP DNS server. So you could click OK, close, refresh, and it shows that I'm still connected and the internet still works. If you wanna get more technical and be more advanced as to troubleshooting this problem, then you could go ahead and go back to the search text field and type in command prompt. What you could do is there is a command here, which is IP config. We can see that I still have the IP address. I have something to mask and a gateway. Additionally, you could go ahead and use the same command, IP config with a space. Then you could do forward slash release. And then you would do IP config forward slash renew. All right, so this is just saying that this adapter is disconnected, which is talking about this one. In most cases, this should work just fine. Um, I'm running Windows 10 on a Mac, iMac. So it's probably not recognizing my other adapter. But you could do ipconfig forward slash release and then ipconfig forward slash renew. And then that should renew your IP address, which is essentially typically the same thing as disabling and enabling your network adapter. All the things that you could search for or you, that you could do is you could go in here to your wireless adapter. You could click on your network. You could disconnect from the network. You could connect again. And that should connect again. Additionally, what you could do is you could go back to actually go back to settings instead of control panel. Click on Wi Fi. Click on manage Wi Fi settings. On the manage no network, you could go ahead and forget the network. And that allows you to start from scratch. So you can go back to your network and it should ask you for the password. So sometimes when it's not identified or unidentified network, it means that you enter a incorrect password and wasn't able, or wasn't able to authenticate. So you click connect, type in your security key. And it connected again. Ultimately, you could go ahead and restart your computer 
and if all fails, if your router wasn't purchased by you, I will contact your internet service provider to see why the computer is still having problems. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you.